Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be giving you my top 5 tips on how to stay motivated or get motivated after the Christmas period. Now if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button with the notification bell on, that way you'll keep updated every time I upload a new video. Don't worry, I only upload once a week, so you're not gonna get bombarded with loads of emails, and we'd really appreciate it to help grow our community. I've made it my mission to give more away for free than most people would make you pay for, so please do subscribe, and if you like the video and like the content in it, then make sure you hit the like button too. Now today I'm gonna be talking about how to stay motivated after the Christmas period because Christmas is such a time where for a lot of business owners it's time to switch off, spend time with family, actually not problem solve things that are happening within, within your business and you start to slip into some really unhealthy habits. That's down to eating, drinking, things like that. And I'm not saying that you have to stop drinking or anything like that for the time being. I'm just saying that we go and we, we basically let ourselves go. We don't get out of bed on time. We find it harder to get motivated because we become really comfortable. So this is just a huge mindset issue that a lot of uh, business owners, entrepreneurs face at this time of year. The mornings are obviously really, really dark at the moment and that does make it harder to get up. You know, it's pitch black at seven o'clock in the morning and as a result of that, it feels like you're getting up at 5 a.m. even though you might have had 10 hours sleep or, or whatever anyway. So I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I've been doing to stay motivated and just really kickstart that fire inside to drive your business forward because we all know that we need to put in this effort in order for our businesses to grow and succeed. The difference is a lot of people aren't willing to or find it really tough to find the willpower inside to stick to the things that they say that they're going to do because your mind loves familiarity. It loves things that are familiar. It loves being comfortable and we love to live inside our comfort zone. That's why it's called a comfort zone. But as business owners, we have to constantly keep going outside of our comfort zone, pushing new boundaries, doing things that we don't particularly like to do, even though we know that at the end of it, the payoff is worth its weight in gold. So I want to share with you some of the things that I've been doing to really start uh, 2021 being the best year that it possibly can. So tip number one is healthy eating. And this really is just a case of getting your mind back right, giving your body the fuel that it needs to really perform the best that it can. There's no doubt about it. If you're eating crappy food all the time, i.e. lots of sugars, lots of sweets, things like that, you're gonna feel crap. There's no two ways around it. And sometimes your bodies, you, you might have found this over time, I certainly know I have, where you're just craving for some nutrients because all you've done is eat crappy food for such a long time, okay? So the first thing is getting your diet back on point. This doesn't mean you have to, you know, wake up in the morning and have a salad first thing or have things that you don't enjoy. It's just having things back in moderation, starting to have some self-control and definitely, definitely watch the amount of sugar intake that you're having. If this means that tomorrow morning you get up and you smash all the sweets or chocolates or things that you've been bought over Christmas and get it all out the way, then do that so that it's not prolonged and you're just having a high amount of sugar every single day. Sugar is will get you really, really motivated initially and you're just gonna crash and you spend the whole day then just feeling a bit like shit and lethargic. So definitely jump back on healthy eating, just being mindful of what you're putting in your body and you wanna give it the best chance of success. Perhaps start having smoothies in the mornings, kickstart the day right again and just start to get into some really healthy habits because if your body's feeling good and healthy, you're gonna be uh, feeling more motivated and have more energy to work on your business. Tip number two is writing down to-do lists or brain dumps as I call them as well. So at the moment in time, your mind is in a state of really uncertainty, not because of what everything's that's going around, but it's because it's been used to work in a set way in your business over a period of months, and then Christmas has come around, and it's just really relaxed, and now it doesn't really know what it should be doing, and even though you might have one thing to do within your business, your mind can make it feel like you've got a million and one things to do, and that's enough to stop a lot of people actually working on their business, because they think it's just too overwhelming, there's just too much. I always recommend just write down every single thing that's going on inside your head right now. Any word that comes into it, it might be tree, carpet, coat, whatever. 
all these random words, get them out of your head down on paper because it's a great way to clear your mind and your mind will start to feel freer. Then you can think about, okay, what am I to do list? What would I like to achieve by the end of the day? And these can be small tasks. They don't need to be masses of stuff. You can get back into it slowly and also set tasks for what you'd like to complete by the end of the week as well. Look at those little things and set yourself these uh, little goals that you can make sure uh, that you're holding yourself basically accountable to. When you write this stuff down, you'll be surprised that often that overwhelming feeling that you have inside your head, that is a reason that you find it hard to get motivated because you just feel like there's this huge weight on your shoulders before you've even got out of bed in the morning. When you write this stuff down, your mind feels so much clear, clearer and you can really focus on what it is that you need to do. And often what you need to do is just a case of doing one or two things, but it has somehow clogged up your entire brain power to the point where you can't think straight because your mind just doesn't really know what way is up at the moment in time. So we need to start training it into the back that like, hey, this is gonna be the routine moving forward and to-do lists, brain dumps are a perfect way of doing that. Tip number three, you're gonna love this one, is give yourself rewards. Make sure you're rewarding yourself for doing things that are good, but it, remember, it's a reward, okay? So you can't just be having, for instance, that bar of chocolate before you've done anything. Set yourself these goals and targets, and when you complete something off your to-do list, or if you set yourself the task of achieving X amount of things within a day, and you and you do that, then reward yourself, then have a piece of chocolate or um, whatever it is, whatever it is, it might be going out for a walk, it might be doing something else, but reward yourself by doing something that you want, but only after achieving something that you didn't really want to do. I do this all the time in business, every single time. I've got loads of things that I don't really want to do, and it doesn't matter at what stage of business you get to, it's still the same. You still wake up sometimes and you think, I just really don't want to be doing this. So I always set myself rewards and think, well, look, if I do this or if I do an extra half an hour on my business or if I do you know, half an hour of social media outreach or whatever it is, if I set myself a task and I complete that, then I'll normally give myself a reward or something like that. Or generally, I often trick my own mind into doing this where I do an extra half an hour and I think, okay, I'm gonna do another half an hour and then I'll, I'll, I'll keep pushing myself, pushing myself and then when it gets towards the end of the day, I'll think, okay, I'll now go in the gym as a reward or, or something like that, you know. It's, um, it's, it's, that's my personal approach to it. I'm not saying that your reward has to be going in the gym but do give yourselves rewards and remember it's just that. It follows ticking some things off your to-do list and when you're working on your business. Now in tip number four, this one's kind of double-barreled because what I think really, really helps is actually watching motivational videos, but watch them first thing in the morning when you wake up because there's nothing worse than watching a motivational video at seven o'clock at night when you're thinking, hold on, I wanna be having dinner and then go into bed or you know, this is my personal time. This is my time where I shouldn't be working on my business because it's outside of the realm of you know, a typical eight hour working day for most people. So for this, it's watch motivational videos first thing in the morning when you wake up and do start to wake up early. If you're a type of person who sets an alarm for 7 a.m. and then it goes off at seven and then you hit the snooze button and it goes off again, and you keep hitting snooze, keep hitting snooze, you need to start holding yourself accountable because is your business gonna succeed if you just keep hitting the snooze button on your business? Of course not, so that's exactly what's happening. You're just snoozing your own business and as business owners, you shouldn't be held any less accountable. You should hold yourself accountable and that's the only difference. So really try to start waking up earlier. If you've got into the habit of waking up at nine, 10, 11 o'clock, then really start to set that back. Get up at a normal time so that you're ready to start working on your business and it really, really helps set you up for the new year. This doesn't mean you have to go cold turkey and if you're getting up at 10 a.m. then you set an alarm for 5 a.m. straight away. Don't do that because you're not gonna to stick to it. But just set an alarm for half an hour early each day and then before you know it, you're up to a point where you're good. Now, for me, when I really need to push hard in my business, I'll often get up at 5 a.m. To, to start researching. Um, I'll read books and things on business development and how to grow my business and I really put a lot of energy in early in the morning. I don't just go from getting up at 7 a.m. to getting up at 5 a.m. I will set half an hour um, alarms in the morning so that I get up earlier each day and that's why I think that this tip is really, really good. So that's kind of double-barreled. Make sure you're getting up earlier, getting up at a reasonable time. When you wake up in the morning while you're having breakfast, ha watch some motivational videos or put some motivational music on, things that really get you fired up to work on your business and it will make all the difference.
Finally, tip number five. If you haven't done this already, as a business owner, you need to do this literally this week. You need to do it right now. And that's plan your year. Because if you've planned your year out, then you can get really fired up because you should be excited about what the new opportunities are, how you're gonna grow your business, what your business is gonna look like in a year's time. That should really motivate you. And if it doesn't motivate you, if you've planned out your year and you're not motivated by your business and, and where you wanna push it to, then perhaps you're in the wrong line of work or you really need to rethink that plan. The whole point of uh, planning out your year is to get motivated, set set a target and then backwards engineer it from there. So if you want to turn over a hundred thousand pound before the end of the year, then you set that as your target and then you work out incrementally what you're going to do each month in order to hit that target. What things, where are you currently at at the moment in terms of your turnover? What do you need to do differently or what do you need to do in addition to reach that new target? Then go through the months one by one and set out tasks that will keep you accountable. The whole point of doing this is so that you can look at every single month and you know what you need to do in advance. There's no thinking that needs to take place because you can come in every morning, look at the tasks that you've set yourself and then you can execute them one by one. So planning your year is, is hugely important and it should excite you. And again, I really, really think that anyone who hasn't planned their year already, then make sure you do that right now. It's one of the most important things because if you don't know where you're going, how do you know you're gonna have a good year or not? If you're just basing it on the last year, there's no real plan in place. So how do you know what things worked well, what things didn't? Everything needs to be measurable, um, certainly within your business. So do make sure that you're planning out your year. Now, all of these five tips are things that I'm doing myself right now. So I know that they work. And a lot of it is just about getting your mind right, getting your body right, getting back on track, picking up those really good habits that you have no doubt over the summertime and just starting to apply them slowly and gradually over this winter period as well. We're on the flip side of winter. So things are starting to get brighter in the mornings. Things will become a little bit easier. Humans are definitely uh, affected by sunlight and things like that so yes there are factors that make these things a little bit harder and of course you just want to stay inside your comfort zone but if you keep hitting snooze on your business if you remain inside your comfort zone your business will never grow to the next level so I really hope this helps motivate you if you've liked any of these and you start to implement them leave a comment let us know how you get on what things worked well or perhaps what things didn't work so well for you or what you still need help on so leave a comment make sure you subscribe and then I'm going to be releasing many more videos on this channel over 2021 so if you've got any ideas hit them in the comments I'd love to hear from you peace